Hello everyone. In this tutorial, I will show you how to add the autocomplete to the custom form fields in a Drupal 8, 9 and 10. So right now I have this form and in this form there is one text field which is a normal text field. And now I want to add the autocomplete to this field. And when I search for any text, this field should search the data from this employee content type. And uh, I want to search these titles from the employee content type nodes so for that i have already created this custom form i will show you the form so this is the autocomplete form and uh, first is the namespace and i have included two classes form base and form state interface then class autocomplete which extends the form base and this is the function to get the form id and it returns the autocomplete underscore search as the form id and where is the form build form function in this function i have added one normal text field and the submit button and return the form and inside the submit form function i get the this text field value and uh, i have shown that text field value so this is the right now it is normal form if I add in it is not searching anything and it will show the data now I have to turn this field into the autocomplete for that first I will add the autocomplete route name to this field so hash autocomplete so, before this I want to show one more thing like I have accessed this form using the this URL for that I have added the routing in my employee.routing.yaml file so this is the routing and I have given the path of my form now I want to turn this field into the autocomplete for that I will write here autocomplete underscore route underscore name and we will create the one more route that will be employee dot autocomplete so when we search or type anything so that that data will send to the this route so first we will create the route and in that route uh, we will give the path of the controller and uh, we will create one controller First, we will create the one controller in the src controller folder. So, my controller name will be autocomplete controller.php. Now, in the routing file, I will add one more route. I will copy this and uh, or this controller route name will be the autocomplete and the path will be autocomplete title autocomplete controller and uh, instead of form we need to add the controller Drupal employee controller uh, our controller name is the autocomplete controller and inside the autocomplete we will add the one method that method name will be handle autocomplete save this now we will write the functionality to get these values inside the controller and uh, fetch the data from the database and uh, return the result to the form so for that first we will write the names our namespace will be Drupal model name or model name is the employee and uh, it's a controller so we will write the controller now we will use the controller base class so it is a Drupal slash code slash controller controller base now we will add the two more classes one is the json response which will return the data in the json format and the second is the request 
so that request class is used to get the parameters from the form so that we will write the symphony component http foundation and the json response i will copy this same and just change it to the request next class is the request class request now i'll create the class our class name will be similar to the controller our controller name is the autocomplete extends controller base i will create one method public function so our method name should be similar to the this which we have mentioned in the routing so handle autocomplete will be our method name and inside the this method will accept the request for that dollar request now inside this method i will create one array which is uh, matches equal to empty array and we will add the result which we have got from the database we will push that result inside this array and uh, return this array to the form again to show the data now uh, we want to get the query parameter which is passed from this autocomplete so we will store that parameter in this uh, string variable we can get that using dollar request query get q so in this variable we will get the value which is search in this text field now we will add one condition so we want to start the autocomplete if the length of the string is greater than 3 so for that we will first check strlen which is used to get the count of the string so greater than equal to 3 then only search the data inside the database so first i will show you how the form is looks like after adding this functionality we will add the other functionality like getting the data on the basis of the what data is searched from the database we will write that functionality inside this so first i will clear the cache here the cache is clear now now we will check how the form is looks like so here you can now we will search for something like dummy so you can see that field is turned into the autocomplete field but right now we have not written anything or we have not queried this data to the database so for that we will write the remaining functionality inside this controller now we will write the query to get data from the database based on the what data is sent to the or search in the that text field because we will write the one variable query equal to slash drupal entity query and we want to search the data inside the node so we have passed the node next will be the condition so condition in condition we will search the data which is published for that status to one and next condition will be in which content type we want to search that data so we want to search the data inside the is employee underscore data content type so for i will copy this employee underscore data next is the in which field we want to search the data so we want to search data from the title field and we will write the like query percent 
डॉलर स्क्रीन एंड द लाइक एट्रीब्यूट we want to just show the 10 records so for that we will write the range 0 comma 10 so it will show just 10 rows from the database which uh, contains the data which is searched from the form now i will create one more variable nids and uh, in this we will get the all matching nids node ids dollar query and execute this query so this query will returns the all the node ids which whose title contains the this string which is passed from the form now we want to load the data from this node id like actual title text for that uh, first we will check if the node id is not empty dollar nids so dollar nodes data using the entity type manager for that we will use the drupal colon entity type manager get storage and uh, inside this we need to add the node then up to that node multiple and pass the nids in this variable we will get the all nodes data now using the for each loop we will get the each nodes data for each dollar nodes as dollar node and uh, we will push that data inside the our matches array So first we will pass the value and the value will be dollar node get title. So using this function we will get the title of the node and inside the label also we will pass the same dollar node get title. So this is the case when we got the actual data from the database. Suppose if we did not got the matching data, so in that case we want to show one message that no data found. So suppose that we will again insert data to the matches array. So in that case we will pass the value as empty and uh, in the label we will use the dollar dc function and uh, we will show one message no node found and at the end we will return this data in the format of json so for that return new json response dollar matches this is the array which contains the all result controller code is now completed now again i will clear the cache brush cr and we will check if this is working or not the cache is clear now go to again to the form and refresh the form now we will search the any data from this uh, employee data content type as you can see we have these are the records which are available inside the employee underscore data content type now i will search the one record from this data so first we will search for the chatur and we will check if we are getting suggestions or not so you can see here when i enter the three characters after that we are getting the list of all matching records chatur singh the autocomplete is working again we will search any other data like deepan so here you can see we are getting the two records which start from deep again we will search any random data like uh, 
which is not available inside the DB but it is not showing any label which we have added here the no node found we have made the spelling mistake of this label it should be the L-A-B-E-L and the same for the inside this also I will save it again I will refresh it I will search for the any random data so here you can see it is showing the message no node found so again I will explain this one more time so first we have created this uh, custom form inside this custom form there is one field text field and inside that custom field I have added this attribute auto complete route name and pass the route name of this controller so this route name here you can see inside the routing.py autocomplete and it passed the data to the autocomplete controller and the function name inside that autocomplete controller there is one function autocomplete handle autocomplete so inside this class we have created this method in which I saved the query string data which is sent from the form autocomplete form here we have check if the string length is greater than 3 then search the data from this employee underscore data content type and uh, we have searched this data inside the title field of this employee data content type and using this we have fetched the all nodes data and inside this for each we have looked through data and uh, fetched the titles which we are getting from the nodes object and uh, and if there is no data found in that case we have created this empty we have passed this value as empty and show the label as the no node found and uh, at the end we have converted data this uh, this data into the json format and return this data if you want to see how that data is looks like i will show you using the inspect element So inside network, now I search for the any data. So here you can see in the query parameters, we have passed these three characters and we are getting the these ma matching records. Again, I will pass the different data. we are getting these results this is the result which we got in the json format that's it from this video i hope this video is helpful for you please like the video and subscribe the channel so that you will get notified whenever i create the any content thank you for watching